Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to hook up a relay to a Raspberry Pi and make the relay turn on and off. Okay, so now let's get to wiring our relay into the Raspberry Pi. So right here, you can see that these these four pins, if I take off these cables, there are four pins, and under them, uh, it's it's the, there is a label. Uh, there's ground in one, in two, and BCC. So the ground is self-explanatory; it goes to the ground. In one goes to one of the GPIO pins. In two goes to another GPIO pin, and finally BCC goes to five volts. So let me, let me plug all my cables back in. Okay, so I've plugged in all my wires, you can see. So now uh, let's get to plugging them in, into our GPIO pins. So our black cable um, is ground. Just check what color your cable is on your relay. So black cable is ground and that goes to the bottom left, left pin on the Raspberry Pi. Make sure your Raspberry Pi is in the same orientation as mine. So we want to plug that in. Right on. There we go. Okay. So now our uh, brown, brown one, uh, is in one and that is GPIO 21. So that's the bottom right pin. And our orange one is um, in two. So that is uh, GPIO, that goes to GPIO 26. And that's the pin right above the ground. And finally, our red is five volt. And we need to plug that into the top right corner in Raspberry Pi, which also corresponds Five volts. And now we've plugged in all of the cables that we need on our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now we want to plug in the Raspberry Pi, and I have my power cable right here. So I'm going to move the relay to the other side first and plug in the power cable. So now we want to connect to um, a computer using SSH, and I ha I will have a tutorial linked up in the iCard if you uh, do not know how to do that. So now let's proceed to the computer. Okay, so you want to create a file, a Python file, right here, on your desktop that's called um, anything you want and you just want to open that file. I already have it open, so I let me open that one right now. So now we need to um, enter the code that that's required to turn on and off the GPIO pins. So the first uh, line we need to uh, enter is um, to import a few modules that the Raspberry Pi requires in order for Python to talk to the GPIO pins. So we need to first type in import capital R, capital P, lowercase i, dot in all caps, GPIO. And then you need to type in as GPIO. And this is the Raspberry Pi GPIO library that Python uses to uh, talk with the GPIO pins. The second module we need to import is time. So we need to type in import time. And this time module is what allows us to incorporate delays into our program to let the uh, Raspberry Pi have time in between turning on and off GPIO pins so it just doesn't go crazy. So now we need to set the mode of our GPIO pins. So we need to type in GPIO.setMode. And we'll in, inside these parentheses, we need to type in GPIO. Dot BCM and BCM stands for Broadcom. I have a. I, well, let me pull up a pinout real quick. Raspberry Pi pinout. 
And so here's a, a pinout of the Raspberry Pi. So th this right here, all these uh, GPIO4 3.3 uh, volt power, these are all the Broadcom names. And then you see these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are all the, these are the board numberings. So if you want to use board numberings, you just type in B O A R D, like that, in all caps. But I prefer to use the Broadcom names since they help you see which ones are GPIOs and which ones are not. So now that we've uh, set our GPIOs uh, mode, now we need to initialize the pins that we're going to use for the um, uh, output signal to the relay. So now we need to type in. Um, First, I'm just going to write a comment saying this is for relay one. So now we need to uh, type in gpio.setup. This is to initialize the pins. And then, and then open up parentheses. And in here, you need to type in the pin. So we've used pin 21, and then a comma. And then you need to type in gpio.out. And this tells the Raspberry Pi that this is an output pin. So now we need to repeat this thing for uh, relay 2. And I'm just going to copy this line, paste it here, and then I'm going to change it uh, 1 to a 6. And we've used 21 and 26 for relay 1 and relay 2. So now we're going to use a try finally code block. So that way it will run all the code in our try block. And finally, when you use a keyboard interrupt with Control C, it will clean up all the GPIO pins so there's no interference with future programs that you want to use. So now you want to just type, to do that, you need to type in try and a colon. And then this editor automatically indents for me. If, you, if it doesn't, then you need to uh, tab, use tab yourself. So now we need to, we need to open up a while loop. While true. And this just tells the Raspberry Pi that you need to uh, loop over this as many times, um, like an indefinite amount of times, until you interrupt the code. So now that we've opened up our while loop, we need to type uh, type in gpio dot output. Oh no. Open up parentheses. And then in here, you want to type uh, which pin you want to output to. So I'm going to output to pin 21, and I'm going to use a high signal. The high signal tells the relay to open. So you need to uh, put a comma there, and then gpio.high. And under here, I'm just going to print a message uh, for debugging purposes if, if we have any errors. So I'm going to do print. And then in here, I'm just going to type um, in, in quotes, I'm going to say relay one on. So I'm going to do the same thing for GPIO 26. So I'm going to change the one to a six. And I'm going to say this is um, relay two. So now we need to turn off all these pins. I'm going to copy this entire block, paste it again. And then I want to set all these things that say hi to low. And when, I, when we print relay 2 on, I'm just going to change that to off. And same thing for relay 1. Off. So now, if we were to run this code, it would go through this and loop indefinitely, but there's no delay. That means the relay will keep clicking on and off and on and off, and that could potentially damage the relay. So we need to incorporate some time delay to slow down this process. So to do this, just type in time.sleep, and we need to type in the number of seconds. I'm just going to do one second, because one second is enough for the Raspberry Pi to prep to um, switch on and off the relay. So I'm just going to paste this after all of our print statements. So now that we've done that, we need to end this um, like do the finally portion, so that way the uh, GPIO pins get cleaned up after, so there's no interference. So I mean, to do this, we need to type in finally, and put a colon at the end. And then under here, we need to do GPIO.cleanup. 
and open open parentheses close parentheses and that's done and we're done for the coding portion so now we need to open up uh, putty which is our SSH client and connect to the Raspberry Pi so an, a neat trick I learned is in here you don't need to you don't have to type in your IP address you can just type in ras uh, Raspberry Pi as long as you're connected to the same network. So you can just press open and then in here type in um, your username and password. And now you're in. So now you need to type in sudo nano. So sudo is the super user, it's just allowing you um, special permissions. And nano is uh, telling the command line that you want to open up a new file. And in here you need to name your file. So I'm just going to type in relay tutorial.py. And now that we've opened this, we need to copy all of the code and paste it right into the terminal. And you do that by uh, right clicking with your mouse. So now you do control, you have to do control X then Y and then enter and that will save the program. So now we need to type in Python and then we need to type in the file. So mine is called relay tutorial.py and you just need to press enter and your relay will turn on and off. And you can see that it's printing all the messages. And then to end this, you just press Control C, and then that will also clean up all of your pins because we have defined this GPIO.cleanup right here. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.